his deep involvement in um, uh, personal use of drugs on himself and others, uh, black magic. Uh, when you say black magic, what are you talking about? I mean, some of the things that I read in the stack of material, it sounds just absolutely unbelievable. What are you talking about when you say this? Well, the funny thing is, is that the actual truth is, is about as far out as, uh, as Scientology itself. Uh, really, the basis of Scientology, which is rather hidden and covered over, is uh, the occult, uh, the uh, uh, deep involvement with uh, satanic uh, powers that he felt that uh, he was deeply involved with uh, uh, a uh, British uh, black magician called Alistair Crowley uh, and through putting himself in deep hypnotic trances and the use of drugs on himself he wanted to become the most powerful uh, being in the world. Did you consider all of this a religion? Alistair Crowley, the late Alistair Crowley, my very good friend, he did himself a splendid piece of aesthetics built around those magic cults. The painted ground in the year of the final force, in the dawn of terrestrial birth, man mastered the mammoth and horse, and man was the lord of the earth. He made him in hollow skin from the heart of an holy tree. He compassed the earth therein, and man was the lord of the sea. He controlled the vigorous steam, he harnessed the lightning for hire. He drove the celestial team, and man was the lord of the fire. Deep mouthed from their throne, deep seated, the choirs of the eons declare the last of the demons defeated. A man is the lord of the air. Arise, O oh man, in thy strength, the kingdom is thine to inherit. A man is the lord of the spirit. believes only one thing. I am fixed in space by an exterior determinism. Now remember that that's real important in the subject of exteriorization. This thing is surrounded entirely by this complete belief that something else is fixing everything else in space, although we can't find any source of this, so we invent God.